today's episode of Watch JR Go, I drive other people's hoopties. Exactly. This is well, something equally junky. Let's do this. You have been. I feel, wait, you I have. Feel. There. You've been <laughs> pimped. That's the most hardcore exhibit move I've ever seen. What is going on guys? I'm Watch JR Go, and today. I'm driving the most famous minivan on the internet. Here we go. Look at that, the Pioneer head unit, it stays ready in this car. There's the Saab, just finished getting polished. Needs a quick little rinse to be perfect, but oh man, it looks good. Get the dice sway going on. Oh yeah. Let's see what this guy thinks. He probably thinks it's the coolest car ever. He told me with the, the look he gave the car, he thought it was the coolest car ever. All right, so my goal here is to get this system bumping, and it looks like there's a CD in there that's even playing. So I'm gonna check it out and just enjoy here for a bit. All right, Tyler and I are on the highway. We're on the turnpike, rolling through Kansas here. We're going out about an hour drive to take this thing to its uh, temporary destination. And it's gonna hang out there for a while. But I was like, of course I wanna drive the van. Pimp My Ride, like, that was my show. When there was a Pimp My Ride marathon on MTV, it was like the greatest day in the world. All you wanna see is music videos and Pimp My Ride. So let's talk about driving this van. It runs super well for having this insane amount of extra weight in the back. Uh, the acceleration's reasonable. I can merge onto the turnpike and everything like that. Engine runs super strong. I mean, here's some add a little throttle, downshifts, and it just rock and rolls. I mean, we're doing 80 down the highway in cruise, just hanging out. The one thing I will say about driving it is when you try to like shoulder check on your left, you can't see anything. All you see is this monitor. So there's just a big black spot. And that's a little annoying, but hey, it's no different than driving a panel van or anything else that's windowless. Sometimes you have to really rely on the mirrors and back glass if you can even see that. So I drive down the road completely straight and uh, rides really well. There's not too much to say. I mean, all there really is is what was the most insane levels of technology when this thing was built. RCA splitters and a stack of TVs in the back and the, you know, the TV lift for these three monitors back here. And it was just wild. So when we stop in a minute for some fuel, uh, I'll take you through all the awesome stuff in the back. If you haven't seen it already, I, I assume you have. Okay, we're getting some gas. Let's figure out how you open this door. It's one of these, right? Is it that one? Yeah, there it goes. So dope. All right, there's our monitor. Lasers! Ah, there's the rear end power. All the monitors are coming on and stuff. She's gotta be about full, so quick look. There's the old heart-shaped exhaust and the acoustics. Oh, so dope. Firing up all the LCDs. I love it. The back of this thing is just so great. I doubt this thing was meant to be driven like this, but oh, we're driving it. It's because Tyler's up there with his Ultimate Suspension 7 Series bombing through the corners. a very long drive in a minivan. I was hustling this thing, trying to keep up with Tyler in his V12 monster up there. Pulling up to our destination. Dream van collection, that's what we've got here. Okay, here's all the cool stuff, and I don't know if you guys got to see an in-depth enough look on it. I know Freddie went into the power antenna motor that lifts up the displays and everything like that, but down here, this is of course all the fiber optics. This is the fiber optic driver, which is hilarious because it's like an old halogen or incandescent based. It's gotta be, it's halogen based. It has a fan to cool it. Here's all the fuses. There's the control relays. Of course, there's the uh, RCA distribution, power distribution block Freddie worked on. Streetwire's power distribution and 150 amp resettable breaker there. This is probably the feed directly from the battery. 
Over here, this is the LED driver for the dance floor, which is really cool. Look how OG that is. Gigantic wiring running to the LED dance floor. Super funny. And now obviously that'd be like 20 gauge wire or even just a ribbon. And this is all the fiber optic cable and they just kind of coiled up all the excess that uh, is coming from the driver right there. Hey, are you done with this van? Uh, sure. Because I think he's gonna let you drive something. Is it a, is it the van? No. Oh, okay. It is a van, actually. No. <laughs> a right. real treat for you. Well, let's do this. Yes. As you know, the Midwest Dream Car Collection also has a Ford Windstar on hand, and they just gave me the keys to it. So let's go fire this thing up and see what it's like. This is Drew Casper from the Midwest Dream Car Collection here in Manhattan, Kansas. And this is, wait, that's not a Ford Windstar. What would you give me the keys to? Are you sure this works for this? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, what really is there besides? 550 horsepower, 5.4 liter V8, American made sports car. Supercharger on the back there. It's really the only American supercar as far as I'm yeah, concerned. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Um, and it's perfect. Ah, that's cool. Well, now you know how to open the rear clamshell on the Ford GT. It has like a remarkably small steering wheel, I think. It does. For You're right. As being a supercar. Yeah, it's tiny. You know? Why does it look smaller than the Mustang steering wheel? Yeah, it, it really does. Yeah. And I'm not sure why. But. And we, we've got doors that can decapitate you at will. Exactly. And it just, and it looks amazing. Three 15s in the rear, all of the traction. This is a good spec too, solid color. Well, I love this one and it has that awesome Macintosh head unit. It has all of the options except the red brake calipers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Macintosh, stereo, the stripes, and I think the brakes is the only other thing. It's so cool. Well, let's get this thing out on the road. I think you guys know everything there is to know about this car now, uh, and we'll, we'll hang out in the driver's seat where you belong. Okay, hopping in the GT. Oh. This cockpit feels like home. When that door shuts over your head, you're like, yeah, this is nice. This is where I belong. I am a fan of this car. What a clutch. We are home free. Well, as soon as I get these very, very wide front hips through this door. You are sitting down inside this car. I mean, the Corvette fenders stick up. These fenders really stick up. There are humps in front of me. This car feels incredibly special. Uh, I always just kind of assume like, yeah, Ford GT. I've, I've called like nine feet and it feels very special. Oh, what a weird uh, turn signal. Digital flasher and it has like a nice solid state noise like. I think the real question here is how do these switches feel? And very nice, that's how they feel. Wow. The instrumentation in here is amazing. There's engine temp, we're slowly getting it warmed up. There's the tag, look at that. <laughs> oh, apparently my door is open. We've got some insane oil pressure, voltmeter. There's a boost gauge, you see a little bit of boost right there. Fuel gauge, and of course, the, uh, this doesn't exactly matter placement for the speedometer. So we're just kind of cruising around here in third gear and... <laughs> what an experience. The power delivery is super linear and it's just completely chill when you want it to be. We're up in sixth gear. The car is absolutely idling down the road. It's quiet inside. The feedback, I mean, it's so responsive everywhere. I mean, what a touring car, honestly. I don't think there's any luggage space, but a, a road rally in this car would be a blast. The power's not peaky. It doesn't all come on at once. It's super linear, and you can feel that the, you know, the supercharger's doing what it does. There's all kinds of download torque, and it just grabs you and pushes you with like a firm hand. It doesn't like launch you forward like a Tesla or anything crazy. It's just like nice supercar acceleration and I kind of love it more than I ever expected. You kind of expect this climate control to get in the way of your arm while shifting this manual that's located just like two inches away from it, but it doesn't at all. My arm has not once bumped the climate control 
and it's just, they're beautiful. Look at the climate control dials. The whole thing, while being finished with the Ford parts, we all know from, you know, the same thing as in the F-150, the Mustang, the Windstar, is absolutely incredible. What a car. This truly is the American supercar, and it's easy to drive. Listen to that supercharger whine. <laughs> oh, and there's no crazy technology or anything in this for us to go over. I mean, Macintosh system, it sounds great. I listened to it for, you know, all of 30 seconds. Climate control is actually amazing, not anemic like a lot of supercars. And you just feel at home when the door shuts. The instrumentation's amazing and it's fun to drive. And that's all that matters, all that matters. I should probably mention the seats are very supportive. The ventilation is really good. I drove it for quite a while without the climate control and it was great. And uh, I love the doors. I love the doors. The windows are amazing. The Ford GT is just very good. I think the takeaway here is everything in this car is dead simple and it just works. It does everything that a sports supercar should do. And it does it really well. What a great gearbox. Well, thank you, Drew. Huge, no huge shout out to the Midwest Dream Car glad Collection. You, glad you liked it. Yeah, absolutely. I love it's this thing. It's a fun thing. car. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's good. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's the car I would buy it for me because you know, I think the Aventador is kind of the yeah. drive around grail, right? But, this is a better car, 100%. Yeah, it like, is. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> Are we done? Can we go home now? <laughs> How did that? That was not on. I turned it on. I turned it on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again, Drew. Yeah, no problem. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please, like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Ha, ha, ha.